y'all, my name is Tyler at Low Carb Thai and I am so excited to announce that I'm bringing the Low Carb Fam to YouTube. So welcome to the channel. This is our first video. So I wanted to just introduce myself. I am Tyler. I started Low Carb Thai on TikTok just a few months ago and we have boomed over 50,000 followers. You guys love my content, my recipes, all that jazz. So I wanted to bring it to YouTube to be able to have a platform to share more in-depth videos for y'all, including recipes, what I eat in a day, keto tips and tricks, and also showing you guys my own personal weight loss journey so you guys can come along with me and we just get a little more in depth because it's so hard to give so much information and share everything with you on a one minute clip. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm gonna be sharing with you my three whys of why I started keto. Reason number one for starting keto was I started having health problems and it was harder for me to lose weight. So I started having symptoms from PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. And if you've never heard of it, it's where you have a harder time losing weight, you're more inclined to have insulin resistance, and you start getting um, really painful uh, ovarian cysts on your ovaries. So um, I actually got one of those. It was really nasty and painful and it was big and I was hospitalized for it. So that was my first real life like indication that I need to do something to change my life and I need to really work on myself and my health. And even though I had tried so many different diets and my whole goal all the time every year is to lose weight, I was never successful after I got married for some reason, my body is just wonky and wasn't working with me. So that's why I um, started keto was because my parents saw me doing um, having health issues and it was I was struggling to lose weight. And them being caring, loving parents, they wanted the best for me. They started keto on their own personal journey and they just shared with me what they were doing. They shared a video talking about um, how keto can heal health problems and stuff like that, like PCOS. Um, so I was, you know, right up my alley, but I was kind of, you know, a little like I'm not starting keto, heck no, never giving up carbs, are you crazy kind of thing. And that was not the right mindset to have because Obviously, I wasn't doing my research or anything like that. I'm very glad I tried it now and have stuck to it, but then I was very skeptical. Um, and they, you know, just kept sharing stuff with me. I was nervous about keto because I thought I'd be starving. Um, whenever I've done diets in the past, it just, I was always starving and would just end up falling off anyway. So at that point, I kind of just wanted to not do a diet, but once I got comfortable with it, I researched, researched, researched it, and um, I had the last straw when I visited my friends, and I just felt so uncomfortable on my skin, in, in my clothes, I couldn't fit in anything. I just, I was starting to become that sweatshirt, sweatpants kind of gal where I would just wear oversized stuff, and like, I just didn't want anyone to see me, and I felt so uncomfortable. So I said, all right, I'll try it, I'll do this, and I've been on keto ever since. So that's my number one reason for starting, because I knew I needed to change my life, and I have not had health issues like that ever since. Um, I haven't had any of the problems I was having before keto once I started. Reason number two for starting keto. So I was in this constant binge eating cycle. I was chronic dieting, restricting my calories, and then the next day I would literally eat fast food for every meal, ice cream, galore, everything. And I was just binging because I was so hungry. And I fell into that whole cycle for a few years and I needed to get out of it. I needed a way to lose weight, but in a good healthy way and something that was gonna be sustainable and not gear me towards binging um and i keto is really the only thing that's ever worked for me um there's a lot of different ways people have been able to heal their own binge eating problems it's all a mental thing for them and it's it's your own journey of course but for me personally keto was what helped me uh, even though you're restricting your carbs i never feel restricted because there's so many great alternatives on keto for carbs and you can add fats to everything and make your meals really satiating and taste good which brings me to reason number three of why i started keto because the food tastes so darn good 
You all have seen my recipes and how I can ketofy literally anything, and that is the number one, well, number three reason why I've stuck to keto because it's it tastes amazing. You literally can have all these good tasting foods and you're not really feeling deprived. And also there's so many alternatives to uh, carbs. You can find a pasta alternative, bread, uh, tortillas, rice even now, and you can bake still. There's sugar substitutes and, and flour substitutes, things like that. I never feel deprived. I mean, I made like uh, peanut butter cookies over the weekend and had that and they were keto cookies and I felt fine with them and I lost weight. So that is what I've been looking for and why I've stuck to keto so well. And it's honestly amazing how you can eat butter and heavy cream and steak and chicken thighs and all these things that everyone thought was so bad and would make you gain weight like dairy and and I just think like everyone thinks dairy is scary. That's my, my little uh, rhyme for you guys. But it's like that is something that everyone has a their own opinions on. Um, and once you try keto and you see just amazing benefits and you see weight loss and all that jazz, I, I was like, this is for me. This is exactly what I needed. So that is my third reason for being on keto. All right, guys, so that concludes the video today. I just wanted to introduce myself and bring the TikTok fam over here. I'm still gonna be doing TikTok no matter what. I love you guys over there and y'all are so supportive. It means the world to me and all of this wouldn't be possible without you guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye.